scheduled a meeting of the Arlington City Commission, which has been doing most of the order. And at this time, I'd like to call upon uh, Pastor Ramon Vela with the Brent Mike Church. Uh, Pastor Vela, a long time member of the HPD and a great community leader. Welcome. Uh, thank you, City Commission, for allowing me to be here again. And thank you, Danny Castillo, who's not here yet. Uh, for an invitation. Um, I'm going to take a one minute before I pray. Um, the last time I was here, uh, I I mentioned my prayer was for the power of God to be in the city. And I just want to introduce somebody, Carla. My church prayed for her in January. She had an ear surgery. She was deaf from her left ear. And God did not answer her prayers, and she had the surgery. And she went to church for a few weeks with a patch. And they did a cochlear and cochlear and they put a magnet inside her ear and then a hearing aid device on her ear and she had a ball. In June we sent her to a youth camp in Dallas and she kept telling everybody that she was gonna get her hearing. And something happened in Dallas on a Wednesday and I'll let her On Wednesday, we had um, our, our one of our services, and they asked whoever needed, at the end of the service, they asked whoever needed physical prayer to raise their hands. And we had um, two of our youth leaders, they prayed over me, and they took off my hearing aids. And when they were praying, I felt a vibration and a pop, and like after that, I could hear. <laughs> She's gone to the doctor twice. And the doctor throws pap papers up in the air, can't believe it. She said, I destroyed your ear. It's impossible for you to be hearing. And she, re she got her hearing back in, in, in June, and she's not supposed to be hearing. And that reminded me of the prayer of the power of God for the city. And if it's okay, I'd like to defer the, the prayer to her. Sure. Okay. Lord, I just ask that you protect the the environment, Lord, that you just continue to give us our blessings, Lord, that you just you just give us what we ask, Lord, that you bless you bless the city, Lord, that you just give us the blessings, Lord, and that you just continue to to bless us, Lord, that you bless all the commissioners, Lord, and that you bless everybody in this room, Lord, and everybody else, Lord, that you just protect them with all your heart. In your name, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Would you, Thank like, you. To, would you like to introduce her? Right? Yes. Uh, Carla Bella Montes, uh, she goes to um, Coakley. She's 11 years old. She's a sixth grader. She has two, uh, two sisters, and her mom is here, and um, her dad's incarcerated for a few years. And soon after I retired from the police department, uh, leaving the love of my life, she started going to our church. And, and she's awesome. And she believed that she was going to get healed when nobody else believed. And it's a miracle. She's not supposed to be hearing. Carla Belamontes. Carla, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. And your, and your name will be in the minutes of the, meet, of the meeting that you delivered our invocation tonight. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everybody. We're glad to have you at our meeting tonight. And we're going to begin with item one, which is the approval of the minutes of the special meeting of April 9th which were tabled from the last meeting. So we need to uh, have a motion to take that off the table. Mayor, I'll make a motion we take that back off the table. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Right, so now, special meeting of April 9th, 2015, are there any ad other additions or corrections to the minutes? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve this meeting the minutes of April 9th? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, Mike signed motion carries. 
and the regular meeting of September 16, 2015. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign the motion carries. Item two is a presentation regarding the upcoming Harlow's and a half marathon scheduled for su Sunday, November 15, 2015. <laughs> I'm Rolando Vela. Uh, aside from being a runner, I serve as a city manager in Laguna Vista, and you see me probably running throughout town or swimming or cycling. Uh, thank you, Mr. Serna. Thank you for adding us to the agenda. Mayor Council, uh, we're here. We've got June, who's the owner of Footworks, and we have some runners. Uh, and we're here to publicly invite you on a major event that's taking place on Sunday, November 15th. We feel very strongly this is an event uh, that all of us have been working on. I volunteer my time to help promote it. So we, we're talking about is a Harlingen Half Marathon. It's going to be a Sunday morning, and it's going to be a, the, the run is going to be throughout town. And it's more than just running. It's an event that brings people together. Uh, to show you how crazy I am, I dressed up as a heart in a heart costume last year. It's, it's about families, friends, strangers coming together and supporting each other, whether, whether we're walking or running. And there's nothing more gratifying <coughs> to be able to see the finish line and to cross it and say, you did it. Uh, for us, they're in city government. We also see the big picture. It's not just about exercise. It's about development. People move into a community when there's a healthier community. It helps to reduce health cost, people more productive. Uh, so all these positive uh, things that people benefit when we exercise. So we basically want to invite you to participate. You can either walk or run. Or if you don't want to participate, show up and cheer on people that are, believe me, I can assure you, Mayor, Commissioner, you're going to see people you know. And this is not just an event for Harlingen. We're also inviting the surrounding communities to get involved and participate. So we feel it's a regional event. And one of the things, last but not least, we want to emphasize, this is a local event. <coughs> Footworks is organizing it. The local money that's raised stays locally. So this is about local, it's about localism. Everything we do, we try to do locally, benefit the community. Jim, would you like to say a few words? Um, I just would like to say personally thank you for the support, because last year would not be possible without all of the city's hard and support from PD, uh, Parks and Recs, everybody. I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, this year, again, definitely a bigger event because of all your support and having our leaders in, in our community be there would just be more powerful. Thank you so much. So we're regular people. There's some of the runners okay, here. We, 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 well, we want to thank we want to thank all of you who have to organize this is a, this event. This is another great signature event for our community. Uh, the story about how you, uh, the owners of Footworks came forward to the Convention Visitors, Visitors Bureau is really a, a, a great story yeah. about uh, individuals trying to make a difference in the community and how they offered to organize this marathon, hoping that the city would turn turn you down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how much going to be, but of course, of course we said yes. They found a date of a marathon, a half marathon that had been um, discontinued in San Antonio. They grabbed that date, pulled in a lot of people from that uh, usually come to that one, and now they're coming here to Harlingen. So it's just been a brilliant, wonderful idea for our community, and it all came from somebody from our community just with a great idea of coming forward and saying, uh, can we organize this and give leadership to it? So we thank all of you, thank you for your fantastic contribution and for the start of this, now the second annual uh, Harlem Should Have Marathon. Thank, thank you all so much for what you do to organize this event. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Three, presentation by Linnell Prieman, CEO of Prieman Associates, Inc., to report on the status of the telecom audit. 
Your Honor, Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, it's good to see all of y'all again. Um, I'd like to introduce you to another member of my staff, and I think a lot of y'all know him. Gordon Hall is my CFO and my advisor, and he's here with me tonight. Uh, we have some really great news for y'all. Um, during the April 15th commission meeting, we gave you an estimated cost of reductions resulting from an inventory and billing audit in the range of 62000 to 80000 We have performed um, that audit by physically going to every location and testing lines and having Sergio uh, authorize those as, that they were known working and were no longer needed by the city. To date, AT&T expenditures have been reduced 69000 per year. Smartcom costs have been reduced 10000 per year. And the current total of cost reductions and credits are 83000 Pending items could result in another 16000 a year, bringing it to $99,326.39. We're not through. We've completed a lot of the inventory with the help of Sergio and Dan and other people in the city. But we look forward to bringing you more money. This is hard. I mean, this is not soft money. This is hard money. It's starting to appear on your bills. And Dan and I are going to be talking in the morning about the telephone system we talked to you about before. We're having failures at Public Works. And your <laughs> firewall for your infrastructure since you're taking 400 million away from the Russians for SpaceX, they're going to be able to hack into you faster. Or they have other things to do, so we need to talk about that. It's been a pleasure to work with Sergio and Dan and Elvia. They've been wonderful. And if you will indulge me just a second, Your Honor, I started with this city back in 1999, and I started with Mike Pettis and Mayor Card. And through that time, I've worked with many city managers. I have never worked with a city manager more professional than Dan. He doesn't avoid conflict. He doesn't, he doesn't avoid adversity. adversity. He's professional. He's a good man. He's loyal. He's respected by a lot of people in the city. As an IT consultant working with large cities and city managers, I think that he's the best that I've worked with in a long time. I just wanted to say that to y'all. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, in your packet you will see where we did the disconnects at every location. You have that in your package. But we're really excited about the 99,000 and we look to bring in more. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. We have to see the, uh, the <clears throat> This is working and you know, we're finding some state savings and appreciate your efforts in providing the service to us and uh, we, we, we have a great staff. So You absolutely do. I'm very impressed with your staff and their dedication. This is your future. This is your future because everything is going to go wireless in the future and we've got to be ready for it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Item four, Neighborhood Clean Suite held October 10th, 2015 from Iowa Street in front of the Bannon Buildings, Caius, Duquesa, Princesa, Sotesa, Morena Streets in District 5. Mayor, Commissioner, I'm going to let Juan be on for that court enforcement department take over the presentation. Okay. Good afternoon, uh, Mayor, Commissioners. Uh, we did a clean sweep on October 10th over there in the area of, uh, let's see, it's from Iowa Street from Frontage to the dead end, including the Calle Duquesa, Presenza, Condesa, and Reina Street. That's District 5. Uh, as you can see, Mr. DeLua and the MMA kids were helping us. We picked up 3.7 tons of debris and 63 tires. Uh, there's the MMA kids helping us still, and the before and after. And we did tell them to get rid of that trailer from the street, so it wasn't there for very long. Uh, our next cleanup is going to be at the Pendleton Park. It's going to be citywide. We ask for everybody to bring their trash and debris over there. It's for free. We'll have the MMA kids, Mr. DeLua. We'll also have some other kids out there helping us. Uh, so any kind of debris you have, just bring it on by and we'll take care of it for you all. We'll be there from 8 in the morning to 12 o'clock at midday. If we have to be there longer, we'll be there longer. Great. I don't see uh, 
No, sir. They didn't. Uh, MMA, the kids don't come, and Mr. DeLua didn't show up today. Uh, I'll be more than glad to give it to them tomorrow. Thank you, sir. These are great events. They're important to our community to keep our community uh, clean and to stress to the neighbors in the neighborhoods how important it is to stay picked up. So thank you all. Yes, sir. All right. No, I just thank them. I couldn't make it that day. I was out of town. Okay. <coughs> Next is items 5A through G. Of the consent agenda, is there a motion to adopt the consent agenda? Mayor, I'll make a motion that we adopt the consent agenda 5A through 5G as presented. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right, we're going to pass item 6. <clears throat> item 7 is a public hearing to consider ordinance on first reading for a specific use permit to allow an adult business. Tattoo Studio in the General GR District located at 1801 South 37th Street, Gate 3, currently description of lots 5 through 8, Block 1, Arroyo State's subdivision. The applicant is Benjamin Payne. Good, e good evening, Mayor Commissioners. Uh, the applicant is requesting a specific use permit to allow a tattoo studio out of an existing 1,200 square foot suite that's in the China Star Plaza. This is a subject property, and uh, this is an area view of the subject uh, uh, complex here. This is a street view. The suite would generally be this uh, 1,200 square, 1200 square foot suite that's in the western end of the subject uh, complex. The hours of operation would be uh, Monday through uh, Saturday from 11 a.m. to uh, 12 midnight. Uh, the previous use of this property was actually a tattoo studio. Uh, the request was reviewed by the <coughs> reviewed and approved by the Building, Fire, and Health Department. A public hearing was conducted by the PNZ Commission. We did receive one letter from one of the surrounding property owners in objections to the request. Uh, Staff is recommending, and PNZ Commission is also recommending approval subject to the applicant maintaining his proper permits and compliance with the appropriate departments. I'll take any questions, and the applicant is also present for any questions. So this is an existing tattoo studio with a little change in ownership? Correct. That's correct. And we've not had any problems? At this point, not that I'm aware of, we have not. A, which is a public hearing. I'll open the public hearing as we're going to like speak for or against this specific use permit. Hearing none, I'll close the public hearing go to item B, and, uh, which is to consider take action to approve an ordinance on first reading for a specific use permit to allow an adult business tattoo studio in a GR district to be both described property. I'll ask the city attorney to read the caption. On an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance number 7 27 of the city of Harlem to issue a specific use permit to Benjamin Pena to allow an adult business tattoo studio in a general retail district located at 1801 South 77 Sunshine Strip, Suite 83, bearing a legal description, lots 5 through 8, Block 1, Royal State Subdivision, Subject to 1, obtaining and maintaining the proper permits from the city and state. And two, complying with requirements administered by the planning, building, inspections, health, fire prevention, and police departments, providing for publication or abating other matters related to the foregoing. Is there a motion to adopt the ordinance on first reading? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Disposed, like sign, motion carries. I may. Public hearing to consider an ordinance on first reading for a specific use permit to allow a parking lot, auto, and residential multifamily M2 district located on the east side of Champions Drive, south of Masters Boulevard, bearing a legal description of Block 44, Valley Estates, number 3, subdivision. The applicant is Cypress Quest LLC, care of David Day. Mayor Commissioners, uh, the applicant is requesting a specific use permit to allow a parking lot auto out of a, in a multifamily zoning district. As you recall, this, this property was before you about a month ago concerning the rezoning of the property to the multifamily district. A parking lot is allowed in a multifamily district with an approved specific use permit. This is an aerial view of the subject property. It will be the subject parking lot would contain 17 parking spaces. Uh, this is a proposed site plan. Being that it's in a multifamily district, 15% of landscaping is, is required and is provided. As you can see, the landscaping islands on the eastern end and western <coughs> end of the property. Uh, a solid fence is also required around the perimeter of the subject, prop around the si subject property, and it is provided. Access will not be permitted off Champions Drive. 
access will be provided through <coughs> Stewart Place Road where the complex is at. Uh, public hearing was conducted by the PNZ Commission. There was con no concerns addressed by the P during the public hearing. Uh, the Building, Fire, and uh, Engineering Department also reviewed and approved the request. Uh, we did notify the property owners within a 200 foot radius of the subject property, and staff received no objection to the requested parking lot. Staff and PNZ Commission are recommending approval subject to the applicant uh, providing and maintaining the required landscaping, providing the required fence. Uh, no access will be permitted on Champions Drive, which is this cul de sac and compliance with the appropriate city departments. I'll take any questions, and the applicant is also present for questions. Any questions? We've got Adam Mayer's public hearing. Open the public hearing. Is there anyone like to speak for or against this SUP? Yeah, good evening, Mayor. My name's Connie De La Garza. I'm a real estate broker, and as you well know, this was tabled at a meeting a long time ago, and I was asked to mediate between the landowner and the property owners, and I met with the people on Champions Drive, the owners of Stewart Place Country Club Golf Course, and Stewart Place owners, and we worked it all out, and there's nobody opposing it, so we urge that you approve it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Anyone else like to speak for or against this SUP? Here now, I'm supposed to the hearing of item B, which is considered to take action to approve an ordinance on first reading for a specific use permit to allow a parking lot, auto, and a residential multifamily M2 district to be surround property. I ask the city to read the caption, please. An ordinance amending the zoning ordinance number 7 27 of the city of Arlington to issue a specific use permit to Cypress Quest LLC. Here of David B. Day to allow a parking lot auto a residential multifamily M2 district located on the east side of Champions Drive south of Master Boulevard during the legal strip on lot 44. Valley Estates number three, subdivision subject for one, providing and maintaining the required landscaping. Two, providing the required six foot solid fence around the perimeter of the parking lot. Three, no access to be permitted from Champions Drive and four comply with the requirements of management by the planning, building inspections, engineering, and fire prevention departments, providing for publication and ordaining of the management related to foregoing. Is there a motion to adopt the ordinance on first reading? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign, motion carries. Item 9 is considered to take action to grant a variance to allow a flag shaped lot on the proposed HM subdivision consisting of two. 0 .00 acres of land that are block 38, Stewart Place Subdivision Survey 295, located on Dome Road, north of Matthew Road. The applicant is JNA Survey Chair Mayor Commissioners, uh, the applicant is requesting a variance to allow a flag shaped lot for a proposed on one lot residential uh, subdivision. This is a subject property right here. You can see it's similarly shaped like a flag. It's actually outside the city limits on Dome Road. Uh, typically, a flag-shaped lot is a lot which uh, doesn't meet the city's frontage requirements. and It's an irregular-shaped lot. Usually, the access to a public road is by a narrow driveway or public, you know, private road, which is this section here. Uh, the hardship in this case is the applicant is unable to provide the, uh, unable to re acquire the required uh, frontage to bring the lot in compliance with the frontage. He did make contact with a property owner to the south and to the north, and he did provide letters in your packet that. They're unwilling to sell them additional property to bring it in compliance. The engineering department has reviewed and approved the request. Uh, staff and PNZ Commission are recommending approval of the request. I'll take any questions, and the applicant is also present for questions. Which piece of property is it? It's uh, this one right here. It's all this strip here. That's it's a, what I thought you were pointing at. It's a total of two acres, and, and the house would be built to the further western part of the property, which would be in this area, which is approximately 350 feet in width. So his access is going to be that sliver of property here on the... Right, it's a 30 feet wide access. 30 foot wide access. Right, correct. <clears throat> and he does have full control of that. He does, he owns that property. That's part of the subdivision. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Can I hear a motion to grant the variance? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. The motion carries. Out of 10, consider to take action to approve an ordinance on first reading to designate two no parking zones along the west and east side of 21st Street. Uh, good evening, Mayor, Commissioners, uh, Interim City Manager. This request was presented to staff uh, due to concerns with parking along 21st Street from north of Riondo to Phoenix Drive by the uh, school district. 
uh, basically the no parking zone on the west side of 21st will be about 1260 feet and on the west side on the east side it'll be approximately 610 feet north of Riondo for 270 feet uh, staff recommends approval of the no parking zone